presentation. If you could wait until um, the microphone is passed to you, if you ask to ask a question, and we will pick you out. Who would like to go first? Dave. Um, Alison, you, you played in the, the famous Barcelona game when you overturned the 3 0 deficit to win 4 0. What are the similarities you can see with tomorrow night? Good evening. Um, not so many, I think, apart from the result. We are playing the second leg away. That game we played the second leg home. Um, different players, uh, different competition. Um, but I think there is a, there's more differences than, than similarities. Uh, so it's a completely different situation and we have to deal different with, with this, this situation as well. Hi, Alison. Vicky Sparks from the BBC. Um, when it comes to any of those European comebacks that Liverpool have been involved in through the years, Barcelona or the miracle of Istanbul or Borussia Dortmund, one thing that is common is belief. How much belief is there in the squad that this tie is not over? Well, as I said before, um, yeah, we did in the past great things, great achievements you can see in, uh, in the history of football. Um, teams have overcome bad results and turn around and, and qualify for the, for the next, next stage in, in competitions like that, uh, in European competitions. Uh, of course, we have to believe in ourselves. But in my opinion, it's a really difficult situation. The way the opponent played at our, how, at our home showed their quality, uh, how tough it will be this game tomorrow. Uh, but we come here with a goal to improve our performance in respect of the last game. Uh, try, trying to play better as a team. That, uh, is a thing that we we didn't make in in the last match, uh, and try try to avoid avoid some mistakes and try to to do better th the things that we we have to do better, and then we uh, we see how the result of that will be. Let's jump with him then. Eh, ciao Alison, Patrick Chianare del Corello Sport, volevo chiederti mh, rispetto alla tua esperienza a Roma eh, qual è stata, cioè, come, come hai visto l'Atalanta e se ti aspettavi un Atalanta così nella gara d'andata? Grazie. Ciao, buonasera. Eh, sì, lo aspettavo, Atalanta è sempre stata una... da quando io sono arrivato in Italia fino adesso è sempre stata una, una, una squadra tosta è molto no, forte fisicamente sia tatticamente, sia tatticamente quindi giocare contro loro è sempre una partita molto difficile it's always been a very tough uh, match to come up against them uomo contro uomo they play 11 questo, against 11 man marking all over the pitch una squadra gioca contro un'altra squadra che marca uomo contro uomo and when you play against the team that do man mark all over the pitch di lottare E di, di correre, you, you need to di make sure corse, that you are willing to eh, put in hard work and, and run. No, 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 no di sul if campo. you don't do that, eh, it's pointless even going out there to play in the first place. Partita, they did an outstanding bene, job in the last game, they prepared it well. You could see that they'd prepared the game very well with regards to knowledge of us as a team. Una brutta gara. We also produced a bad performance. Può, può, può essere un po diversa, I think this match could be a different kettle of fish, but molto meglio in rispetto we need alla, to do a much better partita. job than we did in the first leg. Hey, there's been a lot of uh, theories put forward for why it's gone wrong for Liverpool in the last two games. Uh, what, what do you put the, the last two results down to and what needs to improve tomorrow night? Thank you. Two bad results. I think we, we cannot make the mistake to make this 
bigger than it is. Of course, losing 3-0 home is something that we, we cannot, cannot accept as uh, LFC players. Uh, we have to improve our performances, of course. Uh, but if I will be more precise on the things we have to do better is we have to go back to keep clean sheets and try to score the chances that we have, uh, the clear chances that we have in front of the goal. Um, and I'm saying that because I trust a lot my strikers, I trust a lot my defenders and I know the, the, the quality that we have as a team. So if you do that as a team, defend as a team, attack as a team, uh, improving these kind of things, I think we, we can go back to, to winning games. Hi, Hi Alison. Um, how are you feeling after your injury? It must have been quite a hard couple of months watching from the sidelines, so many big games that you couldn't be part of. Yeah, it was, it was really hard for me. Um, I am a guy that when I am at home, injury or just resting, I don't like to watch football because I get too excited and I want to play. I want to be part of, of every game. Uh, but I know that it wasn't possible for me, so I, I try to make my best at uh, the treatments, the recovery, spend a lot of time uh, on a bed having treatments, spend a lot of time inside a, a gym, making work uh, to be strong when I, when I come back, uh, to be uh, in a good shape, maybe better than I was before. This is how I feel. It was eight weeks pretty much, working double sessions every day, sometimes three sessions, so it was really hard for, for me. Um, and of course, uh, seeing the the team fighting for for titles, uh, I I have a lot of desire to be part of that, to be part of that fight. Uh, thanks God, I'm here, and I'm looking forward for for the rest of the season. Last one at the back. Hi, I'm Martin from Hungary. You mentioned that uh, you try to avoid conceding a goal. Uh, you played here twice, both games you won with a clean sheet. Uh, can you say that more or less your only chance tomorrow that before all you will have a clean sheet? Yeah, we start from that. Uh, this is a goal not only for this game on. This have to be our goal for the rest of the season, for the next season and for the seasons to come. Keeping clean sheets uh, is the basis for a successful team. We did that in the past. The trophies we won, we were solid uh, defensive-wise. And that doesn't depend only from the defenders, but from the whole team, from the whole system. We have to defend everyone together to fight on the, on the pitch for the, to get the ball back. Close, close the gaps, um, win challenges, blocking shots, stopping crosses, all these kind of things, making saves, making difficult saves. Uh, we have to do that as a team to go back to the, to the clean sheets, uh, to get the clean sheets. And I think this is a basis for us, not only for tomorrow, but for, for the rest. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. First question. <laughs> K 
can you remind your players of what happened and use that as a reference point at least to, that it can be done? Okay. <laughs> Do I have to start again, or did you hear me? Um, so we are here and try to win the game tomorrow. That's all. Um, and I think that's um, that's what we should do. Um, and um, we'll see if that's possible. If you play um, a lot of moments we had last week, we uh, were really, really good moments where I thought they was a little bit lucky, but in the end they won completely deserved. They, they played a really good game. We didn't play ex um, extremely well. Um, and so that's it now. Start. Let's start with a much better performance and let's try to win the game. And then we will see what, how much time is left in the end. But that's all. Carl. Hi, Egan. Um, just, I was just reading back on what some of the players said about the Barcelona game, about what you said before the game. Um, particularly De Dejan Lovren talked about a, a brilliant speech you made. I'm just wondering if you've got anything in mind tomorrow to... <laughs> not actually just tell me what it is, but you know, have, you, have you got something you're thinking about? Yeah, I, I wrote it already. Um, down. Uh, well, I remember... From that time, you know, I usually don't prepare these kind of things like that, and especially on the day before or four years before or whatever. So, um, uh, if I will, what I will say, the boys, I think about tomorrow. Um, but definitely nothing about these kind of things were in the press conference before. I remember that I said, if we fail, then let's fail in the most beautiful way. And that's exactly how I see it again. But it's, I said it already, we want to win the game. And then if we want to win the game, we should better play good. If we play good, we have a chance to win it, um, and then we will see. It is exactly like that, what I said after the game as well, directly after the game, everybody in the stadium in Liverpool, the Liverpool supporters, the Bergamo supporters, players, our staff, thought, that's it. But since then, it's uh, now a week later, I don't think everybody thinks it's already decided. Um, but, you know, well, we are here. And we can be good, but obviously we can be not so good as well. So let's see what we what we can um, put on a pitch tomorrow. But my my team meeting will not happen in front of the world here in a press conference. It will happen there. And if we win, the players will find a reason to tell the world what I said. And if we lose, nobody want to hear what I said. So um, that's it. Knowing the fact, oh sorry, what makes your approach different? Knowing the fact that you have to score at least three times uh, tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing. No, we should. That, uh, that we conceded the three goals had nothing to do with the approach. So losing the ball in the wrong moments, not being um, organized in the moments, had nothing to do with the approach. It's not that I said the boys let them run; they will not score when you leave when we leave them alone in the box was not the way we, we spoke about it. So the approach will not change. We should do better in these moments, but um, uh, we should do better in possession. Our, against the ball, we should be better and more consistent. Um, yeah, we, 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 we should play a, a, a really good Liverpool football game, the way we usually play. We are a well-organized team. We were not always that night. Um, and that, look, if you want to win the game, you better don't concede, that's clear. So it's not that we are 
it's not allowed to concede at all, but it makes life easier not to concede to win one nil, um, which would be already always already a good result. Um, you shouldn't concede, and that's big part of of the match plan tomorrow. Gentlemen, can't. Hi, Jürgen. Uh, can I just check on fitness things? How's Connor doing? Uh, any of it? Connor, yes, it's not. I think Ryan Grabber had a similar thing. So, first week of May, he should be back in training. When is that? Two weeks' time. Um, he was overstretched the ligaments a little bit. Not serious, serious, but serious enough that he's not here. What was the other question? Oh. Any other? Any other? No. 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 All the others are fine. Hi, Jürgen. Uh, Vicky Sparks from Five Live. Can you just give us your perspective right now on how important this competition remains to you and to Liverpool this season? One hundred percent. We are here. Are we, as, I'm long enough in this in this business to know that it's two legs, um, and it's over when it's over. As far as I know, we still are allowed to play tomorrow, so that's what we will try. That means it has one one hundred thousand percent focus. We are he only here for one reason. I'm pretty sure this is a wonderful region. We did not even look. So we're only here for. For playing football, that's what I can say. But I cannot win this game in this press conference today. That's why I'm not really interested in what you are asking and what I'm answering as well. Not because the main part is actually when I leave this room finally, um, then it starts. And um, but it has our 100% focus. The back from Hungary uh, oh. in English. <laughs> Mr. Klopp, can after. I use them one time? They are really cool. <laughs> Sorry. You. I, I <laughs> so, so after the first leg, you said that the man marking played by Atalanta caused you massive problems, as it's always uncomfortable when you're not on your top. Do you expect the same attitude and game style from the Italians? And if yes, could you prepare more? We played four days? years. We played four years ago against Bergamo, and they, they played like this, and the result was different. Here. So um, it's not man marking is not the problem. They did really well, but we did not well. So we played against. Yes, we didn't win against United, but created I don't know how many chances they play man marking. So it's not that's not the problem. We have to do better. We have to do better. We, we played in these moments in their cards, but that's not to change anymore. It's just a description of the game. Specific runs we did not often enough that night would have caused them more problems. But tomorrow the game is even more difficult because they don't have to score at all. And I don't know, don't know exactly what they want to do. But it's not easy to approach a game when you are 3-0 up. We had that in the past when we won here at Bergamo, I'm not sure, 5-0 or so. And at home it was not easy to find the right mood for that game. And in the end we lost 2-0, I think. Something like that. It's really not simple. Because usually you fight for everything, and how do you want to fight tomorrow for everyone? You always ring it up. It's not, that's really not easy for them as well. So we will see who deals better with the situation and all these kind of things. If Bergamo goes through, congratulations, then they deserve it. And if not, then something special probably would have happened. But I don't know in this moment if that's possible. Last one, just so we can use headphones. Thank you. Buongiorno. <coughs> Giorgio Duzzi, Good evening. Bergamo News. Um, in the first leg, Gianluca Scamacca scored a brace. He also came up against him last season when he played for West Ham United. This season in Italy, they're talking a great deal about him possibly being the number nine for Italy at Euro 2024. What have you made of him and do you think he is the main danger for Liverpool tomorrow evening? He was exceptional against us. Eh? He was really, really good. He was in, in, in England. We say he was a handful. <laughs> it's difficult to play against. Great in the in the air, great on the floor. I liked him when he was at West Ham. Didn't know him too well when he when he came to West Ham. 
didn't work out there 100%, but that can happen because the Premier League is a, is a difficult league to play, but you can see that he has great quality. Um, I don't know now all the other Italian strikers, to be honest, to, to compare them and ask, or I know them all, but don't know exactly who is in contention to be the number nine for Italy and who not. But for a specific way of play, I would say he's, uh, he's a fantastic option. He is a real focus player. He can bring the ball down, gives you time to push up, is a, is a threat in the box, has speed as well. That's a really interesting package, a really interesting package. So, yeah, he, was, he made a, diff a big difference in that game, but we didn't make it too difficult for him as well. So we should make it a little bit more difficult tomorrow. I don't, did he score against us when you played for West Ham? Look, so we played twice against him, once we defended him well and one not so well. So let's see what we can do tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Grazie.